Kentucky History Channel. We got videos of people who influence Kentucky, people who are from Kentucky, and events from Kentucky as well, and places in Kentucky. Today we're going to talk about Colonel William Willie. Born in 1749 in Augusta County, Virginia, he was a son of Irish immigrants, Solomon Whitley and Elizabeth Barnett, who moved to America from Northern Ireland. Now, William came over through the Wilderness Trail with Benjamin Logan, and at times stayed at Fort Logan, and began to build his own station near Crabworthy, Kentucky, off of Cedar Creek. And I say a station because it wasn't a fort, and it was hardly up to standards of, of a fort at all. He planted his crop, and then he returned to Virginia, and came back with his wife and his two daughters. While his house was being constructed, his family stayed at Fort Herod, where they had their third child. From 1782 to 1786, the first brick house was built west of the Appalachian, and this was William Willie's house. It was a Federalist type house, and Joseph Lewis built the house. This house was constructed to be able to withstand Indian attacks. It had hidden ceilings, pocket holes where people could stick the rifles out and fire at Native Americans if they were t attacking. But William himself was a high society man, really loved to entertain and he participated in many sports, fox hunting, trapping, fishing, all sorts of activities. Now him and his wife, Esther, had 11 children, and Esther was also known to be a very good shot. But in 1813, William was killed in the Battle of the Thames. And a quick side note here is he was also rumored to have killed Shawnee Chief Tecumseh. I bring it up as in a rumor is because the account that is given that he killed Tecumseh is from his daughter. And there's also other people who are rumored to have killed Tecumseh. Obviously, if you were there, you probably knew, but none of us were. So other notable things about William Whitley is Sportsman's Hill. William Whitley built the first horse racing track in Kentucky. And the relics of William Whitley have been very popular and important to the people around the area. In this article here from 1897, it talks about a lady showing off the relics at an exhibit at the World Fair. His old rifle is still on display in his house. Oh, and his house is still standing and you can go and visit it when the park is open. From this article here in the Interior Journal in 1888, it shows us the poem that was written on William Whitley's powder horn. Which this horn was a very revered horn. William Whitley, I'm your horn. The truth I love, a lie I scorn. Fill me with the best of powder. I'll make your rifle crack the louder. See how the dread, terrific ball, make Indians bleed and Tories fall. You with powder, I'll supply to defend your liberty. That last line's a little, doesn't rhyme as well, but anyway, there's a poem that was written on William Whitley's powder horn. Lastly, Whitley County, Kentucky was formed in 1818 and is named after William Whitley. Now I'm gonna post some of my sources that I've used for this video in the description below. So if you wanna check any of those things out, you can. I'll remind you too, if you wanna learn more about William Whitley, check out The Land Between the Meadows the Kentucky History Podcast, Episode 10, The House That Built William. We get into a lot more discussion about it, which you can find it also on the links provided through this channel, or you can just go to Apple Podcasts and search The Land Between the Meadows. If you like these videos, we got more to come, so just hit like and subscribe, and then share them. And if you want to get notifications, click on the notification button as well. If you have any other questions, let me know. If you have any other topics you'd like for me to look into, let me, let me know as well. You can find us on Twitter, at KY History Pod, or on Facebook, at KY History Pod. Or you can search The Land Between the Meadows. Thanks to everybody who's listening and watching. And hey, check out the Family Tree Nuts Facebook and YouTube channel. Again, thanks for all those people who are watching and subscribing. And we'll see you next time.